what is going on everyone this is your boy random arts coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be taking a look at bone we're going to also be taking a look at shabarium's competition so before i get to it guys make sure you smash that like button if you're new to the channel consider subscribing love to hear your thoughts and opinion about shabarium so guys, if we take a look here at the price of Bone, it is currently up 9.34% on the day. It did crack that $2 resistance area. Hopefully it holds because the next area of resistance, once it passed this $2 mark, we should see resistance right around like the 250 mark. So another 50 cents up move, we could see a resistance there. Then followed by uh, the next area of resistance would be right around $3. At, uh, between three dollars and three dollars and 25 cents um which to me is you know all this before the launch of shibarium now to get to the main topic at hand guys we have competition so coinbase was going crazy yesterday as far as dropping little hints as far as a launch date of a uh, layer two or well now we know it to be a layer two uh, so the layer two that they're launching is called base. It is going to be on Ethereum. Now, the good thing about base is it's not going to be there's not there's, there's not a base token or a base coin. Um, everything is going to be ran on Ethereum. So which is good because that way, you know, we don't have competition in the sense of another coin. We just have competition in the sense of just another layer two. So. I see a lot of people losing their mind like, oh my God, Shaitoshi, release Shibarium. Now we got competition. And my answer to all that, guys, is relax. You know, Kamate, relax. Because at the end of the day, we all know we're going to have competition regardless. You know, and this layer two didn't just automatically just pop up. They actually been in the works of making this. So this is not just a random thing. Like they say, hey, we're going to start making a layer two. They're actually right now in their test net as far as what their layer two. So they have people, uh, selected people um, being able to test out their layer two. But I'm going to cover some of the pros and some of the cons behind it, guys, um, about this layer uh, two. So pro is that it is... Um, a sense pretty much um coinbase project now the barrier of entry as far as people come in into DeFi is going to be significantly less because people and coinbase understand this um probably the most as far as like barriers of entry and for them doing a layer two it is going to allow more people to get into the crypto space so that's actually a positive overall for the whole space not just being selfishly looking at just from Shibarium standpoint, but just for the whole crypto space. More people coming into crypto equals more volume. The second thing that I think um, that I think it's a good thing is the fact that they didn't have, like I mentioned, a coin of their own. And also, anytime the transaction is done, remember this is still getting kicked back up to the Ethereum layer. And for them using Ethereum on their bait on their layer two, it's just going to eventually make the price of Ethereum just go up. Now, we're still going to be considered a Ethereum based token, guys. So bone, the success of Ethereum means the success of bone as well. So outside of all the other stuff that we're going to be doing on our layer two, but as Ethereum continue to go up and skyrocket because of all these other layer twos that's kicking everything back up to layer one. It just drive volume for Ethereum and with volume being driven through Ethereum causes bone automatically to be able to go up. I made a video explaining this already um, and I'll leave the link in the description. Now, these three right here are, are layer two and Polygon is a side chain. So again, all of this is still kickbacks, more volume for Ethereum. And really, that's why we haven't seen Ethereum really taking a really big hit as far as like um level dropping below a thousand um and i believe it's because of all of this this is arbitrum you know is doing record volume on this layer two which is good again for 
uh, the tokens, the coins that is on Ethereum. So those are some of the positive stuff. Now, the negative, what are the negatives? The negative, of course, is more competition. So when new projects are going to come in, they do have a little bit more option. So instead of just coming to Shibarium to like say, hey, I'm going to launch my project on Shibarium layer two, they may pick base, they may pick Arbitron, they may pick Polygon. Um, you know, all of those are options, you know, so that's to me is the real negative, the real con. You know, of course, if uh, projects are not getting listed onto Shibarium, then that means less volume for the whole ecosystem. Now, one thing that we have above all else, guys, and we got to always keep this in mind is the community, guys. We have fanatics within Sh the Sheeb army. So having that is going to be the, the key to our success. So please don't lose your, you know, your hat over announcement uh, via Coinbase, they're just going to make it a lot easier, you know, because remember, barrier of entry into crypto uh, for most people is pretty hard. But with that, when most people are entering into um, crypto, guess what tokens or guess what coin that they typically gravitate to? Shiba Inu. So we already have that in, you know, in play for us. So I thought I'd just give you guys my perspective on, of it. Yes, it's not ideal, but at the end of the day, it is going to be great for the space. And eventually all of this is going to, you know, come back to us as well. So this is Random Arts Guy signing off. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And man, oh man, I like the price action of Bone. Guys, I'm signing off. Peace.